This is all right. <laughs> no, come back. Hello there, my beautiful, lovely internet friends. Welcome back to my channel for a very special and, might I say, dangerous edition of Amputee Tries for the very first time. Now, you see, placed in front of me, I have a hoverboard that has been sitting in my garage for mm, about six months now as I work up the courage to try it. If you know anything about me and my channel, you know that coordination is not at my top list of skills. Uh, so we're gonna try this for the very first time. I feel like this is generally something you see like eight-year-olds trying for the first time, but as a 30-year-old woman, I'm gonna give it a shot. Charging cord. I've been told that balance on both sides of your body is really important for these things not to just spin in circles, which I do not have. So we're gonna have to break out the helmet. This is a lot heavier than I thought it would be. Instructions? Do they just turn you loose on the hoverboard? <laughs> a guide for your ride. You know what? I bet there's probably a YouTube video on this. It's like it's like eight or a nine year old in this photo. I don't think hoverboards are meant for me. Looks simple enough. Okay. Oh, it's working. I <laughs> just got a little concerned to be standing on this. Also, I would like everybody to welcome, uh, you can't see her, but she's lovely, our new camera lady. Hi. Lori, <laughs> which is awesome. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna make some coffee for energy and courage. Realistically, hoverboarding doesn't have any real benefit to my life. I just think it looks cool. Maybe I'll be one of those cool YouTube people who just hoverboards everywhere. I'll be like with my camera going around town, you know? Like one of those TikToks. Well, yeah. here I go again. <laughs> you say you want your freedom. Exactly. Also, this is my Nespresso machine that I don't think I've introduced you all to. I absolutely love her. Brian got this for me as a present. I am curious, there's kind of a cult of Nespresso lovers and also people who swear on their lives it's not real coffee. It's the best coffee. I am right on this one, but feel free to leave your comments down below. So let's look up some how not to die hoverboarding videos. <laughs> how not to die on a hoverboard. There's no video answering that question. All right, I might be the first. <laughs> How do you get to slow down though? So I imagine lean forward is like go forward, lean back is, okay, yeah, that makes sense. So when I first got the hoverboard months ago, I thought this was gonna be an absolute disaster, which granted it still might be, but since then I have tried snowboarding, which is kind of similar to skateboarding, which I was terrible at as a child, but my balance was okay. So I'm thinking maybe, maybe I've learned enough about my body and how to balance that I can stay upright on one of these. Oh, this is Jake Paul. Oh god. No. <laughs> no. I can't. I can't do it. The spin trick. I think I'll be doing that one without trying. I feel fully prepared. Thank you, YouTube, for giving me all the tips and tricks on how not to die hoverboarding. Improv an idea here that will hopefully keep me safe. It's probably like 15 or 20 pounds. It's a lot more than I would expect it to be. I think this is a good idea with the rug, Lori. I like it. <laughs> Tighten the old shoelaces. So I can kind of feel like how the motor. <laughs> That like, oh god, it goes, it goes fast. <laughs> you see the pretty lights on the sign? 10 out of 10. You step on, you don't want to step on forwards. <laughs> oh dear god, that is a lot. <laughs> pretty powerful, cool, 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 okay. <laughs> All right, reset, center focus. <laughs> so you have to like put your foot on it like perfectly centered. I obviously don't have an ankle that I can control, so it's kind of harder to get that side going. This is thrilling cinema. <laughs> okay, so the one weird thing, I ran into this when I was snowboarding too, that because I don't I don't have control over my foot or my ankle, but my body still tries to like clench and move those muscles. So I end up with like my residual limb getting super cramped up. I've gotta learn how to like relax that so I can do this for more than three minutes. Okay, I'm gonna take this on the, on the mean streets of Colorado Springs. I just feel like this is a good idea. Um, this is my equestrian helmet. On a scale of 1 to 10, how dumb does this look, Lori? I think you look cute. <laughs> I like the fact that my neighbors are gonna see me like this. So I brought the chair out for uh, <clears throat> emotional support. Okay. No, come back. No. <laughs> oh god, that bumps. <laughs> it's alright. <laughs> Good start. 
the back of my ankle. We should go somewhere that doesn't have bumps. I gotta like do cool TikTok dances on these, right? Oh god, there's a girl. Ah! Right, faster. <laughs> All right, we are here at a public park where now everybody can see my excellent hoverboarding skills. Avoid the hole. <laughs> it's a good thing there are spikes here so I can uh, impale myself. When you need to do something really, really fast, you need a <laughs> montage. Gypsy and Bella. Oh, hello. May I say hi to her yeah, as well? Yeah, she'll say hi to you. She seems standoffish, oh. but she really doesn't, she doesn't she, mind. You're such a sweetie. They still have like all their baby fluff. Oh, dude, oh my God. Righteous. <laughs> so doing this, when I tense it, like to try to balance myself, it's almost activating a lot of the phantom pain and phantom sensation that I have. And so it feels like my toes are like, like that and cramping. I need to actually stretch it out like this was a real ankle, but I'm hoping I can trick my brain into letting go. So now that I have absolutely mastered the art of hoverboarding, Honest question for my audience, what is this good for? Um, it, it, it appears to take more work than walking. Like I'm sore and a little bit out of breath from balancing on this thing. Is it, is it to look cool? Because if it's to look cool, I can rock. Is it to save time or energy? Because I don't think it does either of those things. Is it to spin in circles? Woo, God. Got a little too confident. <laughs> what should we try next? Should we try some skateboarding? Let me see if I can do a cool turn again. Rollerblading, perhaps? Let me know in the comment section down below what you would like to see me try for the first time as an amputee. <laughs> okay, hoverboarding update a few hours later. My calf is so cramped up. Like, it still feels like my toes are curled in on themselves. Weird pins and needles sensations. Those tiny little muscles, like, trying to balance and trying to move the hoverboard. Man, it, um, yeah, it doesn't feel great. <laughs> maybe I am too old for this. Or maybe I just need more practice. Now that I am uh, thoroughly and embarrassingly out of breath from hoverboarding and also cramping, uh, I'm gonna need to eat a banana when I get home or something. Thank you so much for joining me here today. This is actually a lot of fun. Thank you to my lovely new camera lady, Lori, for enabling this to happen with some cool shots, different angles, some movement, which is different. Uh, big thank you to all my patrons over on Patreon for continuing to support this channel. You guys mean the world to me. Link up on screen if you're interested in that community, but to you watching this video right now, thank you so much for spending a few minutes out of your day here with me today. You could be anywhere else in the world doing anything else, and you chose to hang out with me for a few minutes, so that means a lot to me. Thank you. I love you guys. I'm thinking about you, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Have her from the sky.